chair? Uh, is this the way we have to go? I thought I went down like a side path back here. Hang on a second. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh yeah, I guess that is the only way you can go. Huh, well. They lead us straight to a Power to the People station. That's interesting. Alrighty then. Let's head through here. Now, we see one of these. What does that mean? Immediately. What do you, what's the first thing you think of when you see that? The answer, of course, is there's going to be a freaking little thing around here somewhere close. Don't know exactly where, but it's going to be close. Bet you we'll be coming up on it soon. Texas Avenue. Tariff office. I like reading all these things. Disease! Is that a dog? Oh, it is a dog. Holy crap. I can use a dog as a projectile weapon. Oh, man. This is like... Gotta stash myself. Oh. Well, that's annoying. That dog went flying. Alright, let's switch back to our this weapon and auto-hack this, because I'm not going to be able to sit there and hack that. I don't have those accidents no more! <laughs> I don't have those accidents anymore. Is that what he said? Really? <laughs> I'm more mad it took me a second to are. think about that and consider what that meant. I don't have those accidents anymore. Oh, it's been a while since I've saved. Yeah, good time to do that. Before I forget. We've done a lot of things, and I would hate to lose all of those things. We'll kill him. Thank you. Wow. Summons two turrets at once, doesn't it? There we go. That's what auto-hack tools are for in this game, I think. I'm not sure if auto-hack tools register things as being blue, or if it just automatically hacks them. But therefore, getting things around corners very quickly that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise. Third session today with this amazing limey shrink, Dr. Sophia Lamb. What? She said that all this horseshit about always looking out for number one is turning us little guys against each other. And what we need is unity, solidarity. Then, huh, she held up a mirror. Turns out, I wear my hair and mustache just like Ryan. So today, I'm spreading the word about Lamb. And tonight, <laughs> I'm shaving my whole stupid head. Now, if you watch... Okay, you might have to rewind the video for this, but... If you look at his picture, ima like imagine his picture and then his head shaved, he looks like Frank Fontaine instead. Fun. Unable to provide for itself. The parasite grows Aww. until war is made to justify it. Your parents brought you to Rapture, where you need never fear the parasites again. So you see, there is no place for you on the surface. But you may bring the world to you. If you know someone who belongs in Rapture, write a letter to the Ryan Industries mailroom. And you never know. The next new face might be familiar. Fun. Now, there's one last audio diary I want to get. Here's a little face inside that. It's fun. There, yeah, there's one, one more last audio diary that I would love to find, because it's one of my favorite audio diaries in the game, and I think we're coming up on it now. There it is. I think that's it. I know this facility is vital to the preservation of secrecy and rapture, but seeing myself transformed into that lurching waxen nightmare... Children 
truly respond to this. Still, I spoke to a young man exiting the park after the grand opening, asking him what, if anything, he had learned here. He said his chores didn't seem so bad anymore, as long as Mother wouldn't send him to the surface. That's a good one. I like that audio diary. Anyway, open all the doors. Who opened the door? Who opened the door? Hey, you opened the door? Hey. Oh my God. Look at all the dudes in here. Oh, reload, reload, reload. Thank you. Come on. I need more people. I will kneecap everybody. <laughs> I like this machine gun, guys. This is good. Especially if I can reload it off of Tommy guns. It's like, man, everyone in here has a Tommy gun. Holy crap. It's like the most used weapon I've seen. Anyway, good stuff. Before we leave and forget, we need to go in here. As you can see, we've looped around back to the start of the ride. And we need to pick up this, which is Booze Hound. Take full advantage of Rapture's Distilleries and Ventineers. Drink to your health with Booze Hound. And considering we don't have anything else, we can equip that. And it gives us more Eve for drinking alcohol instead of taking the Eve away. It's a nice plasma, actually. I've got a little dating tip for you, Jimbo. It'll get you out of that lonely hot Scotch. club for good. This scheme works 100% of the time, guaranteed. First, find some Betty and take her to Ryan Amusements. Then, you'll go to the gift shop, buy her a teddy bear. This is key. I ain't kidding around. Then, you buy her a ticket on Journey to the Surface. As soon as you hit that first scare, bingo! Tunnel of love. I can't imagine making out inside of Journey to the Surface, honestly. I'm not sure what can I kick. But, I don't know. There are some people with some weird interests. I guess apocalyptic things would be one of them. Oh, boy. Anyway, we need to head up, and we need to get incinerate now. That is the next thing on our list of stuff to do. Let me check the map really quick to see if we're not... Am I forgetting anything? Okay, we've seen all that. Click. I think... Oh, we haven't been in one little back room back there. Uh, hmm. This was... That was on the ride. I'm not sure what's in that room. Huh. Should I go back to that right now? I don't know. I'll check it out later. That might be something I do uh, before the next video. What I'm going to do at the end of each section is run through all of my plasmids and all of my tonics that I have and just everything, make sure Bust I didn't miss anything. Junk. You broke it, didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit. <laughs> Edna apparently broke mean, something. Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. Click. Boop. 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 Music to my ears. Anyway, um, like I was saying, before we leave each level, um... Share our views. Oh, hi. Ridiculous. I was explaining something. Please go away. Thank you. Before we leave each level, I'm going to stop for a second and consult the wiki and just see if we miss anything. And if I miss anything, I'll do a quick flashback and we'll grab whatever it was. But I can't afford to leave anything behind because of the way this game works and being linear and not letting you go back and forth between levels. So, that's a problem, but it's not that hard to get around, and I guess not that big of a deal. 
Hall of the Future. And of course, it's got plasmids all over the freaking place. So, you would drain the people of their life's blood. Rapture is a body, Delta. I am the voice, and Big Sister is the hand. When Rapture speaks of you, it says only this. Sleep now. Your day is done. Is that a bird? Hey. Hey, get off. Stupid bird. Hate birds. Uh, a quote from Andrew Ryan. Oh. I don't know what that says. I can't read it. All uh, right, grab this first aid kit. Is that a broken Vita chamber? Interesting. A father's love. We lost another of the Alpha Series protectors today in testing. Somewhere outside the city limits, he simply vanished. For these men, Rapture has no walls. We must find a method of conditioning them against abandonment of the Little Sisters. Something physical. Possibly even lethal. The lab aides are starting to call them Big Daddies. Perhaps there's some genius to that. Bonded pairs, connected by a love that kills. Sweet killer love. Pop in gum. Oh, I went in gumballs. Oh, anyway, here's our thing. Oh man, how what we got? We can get incinerate, which is what we came in here for. We'd be dumb not to get it. And then we can get health upgrade and Eve Link. Funny enough, we can get all of those things. Congratulations on your recent purchase of the incinerate plasmid. Say, Tom here is having a romantic evening with a gal. What would impress her more than lighting the fireplace with a snap of your fingers? Oh. Hey, wait a second. One, two, three, four. There's four people there. There was only three of them before. Eh, probably just my imagination. Oh, Shit! Party, but this party just hit the skids. Carl needs a light for his cigar, and no one can help him. Um, here you go, Carl. Oh. That wasn't a light for his cigar at all. I popped his head clean off with my explosive fireball. Oh well. Them's the brakes. Okay, anyway. Um. We're kind of out of plasmid juice. But we can kind of explore in here. Anyway. pick up all this. I think that's everything in here we can get. Oh, toaster on ice. Frickin' great. Let's see what we can... Yeah, I just want to look through here. Um, we can get careful hacker. Hacking needle moves slightly slower. I'm probably never going to take that ever. Um, armored shell. That might actually be good. Then tonic slot and an eve upgrade. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those just yet. I'm glad I don't have the Eve to purchase them, so I don't even have to worry about it. Calco substitute milk. More most effective milk substitute on the market. 32 of your recommended daily dose of calcium. And the familiar milk style bottles. I wonder what that's actually made out of. Well, I guess soy or something. Oh, wait. You know what? I just realized something. In Rapture, they wouldn't be able to raise livestock because they don't have the room for... That didn't sound good at all. Oh. Mmm. I wonder what's going to happen now. Oh. I actually, I know what's going to happen now. We're going to have to fight Big Sister now. Okie dokie.
So, for fighting Big Sister, we need this plasmid. And we're basically going to drill her full of as many holes as humanly possible. Or inhumanly, considering we're Big Daddy. We got five health kits. We got three Eve things. I think that's enough. We're going to be using telekinesis, so yeah. Well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. Hi. 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 Please. Please go away. I don't like you. No. No, no, no. What the hell? Something's wrong here. Oh, right. It's because I didn't turn the music up. Do, 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 do. Music volume up. Put it on to four. Apply. Back. Resume game. That's better. She is kind of painful at close range, actually, so you want to put some distance between her and you. Because if she gets up on you, it kind of stinks. Like a lot. Because she hurts. Uh, uh. Also, you want to aim for that little thing on her back, because that is the damage and where the damage comes from. Also, you can probably see that she's already done some major hurt on me. These freaking big sisters are just pains. Like, look how much damage she's taking. Ow, 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 ow. And I'm already out of freaking ammo. I forgot I need to set on fire. Uh, this is not going well at all. Okay. Maybe if I can just dodge and keep her lit. Nah. Come on, stand in fire. Yes, stand in the fire. Please. Please do that. Someone didn't study their cataclysm bosses. Kill her with a rock. <laughs> <laughs> son, not even a big sister can keep you down. <laughs> well, come on back and melt the ice, and we can say goodbye that was to this too classic. Ride. I did not do that on purpose. I meant to incinerate her at the last second, but for some reason, I just managed to grab one of her rocks and pelt her in the... F that is the funniest way I've ever killed a big sister. Okay, we got 40 Adam, first aid kit, some bucks. But big sisters are not a joke. I honestly forgot I was going to have to fight one this early, and that's why I didn't set up beforehand, which was a pretty bad idea. But usually the method for fighting big sisters is to deck out in armor-piercing rounds and just go to town on their little breathing apparatus, because that's their damage. Um, if you can target that thing and put some good hits on it, then you're usually golden. But we're pretty good, backed up to 4 and 4, which is what I like to sit with, and I think I've explained why I like to go 4 and 4 to you guys. But, uh, that's about all I think we need to do in this level. Yeah, we're going to go back to the tram now, set the thing on fire, and we should be good to go. Yep. I had to turn the music back on for that fight, though. I like the big sister fight music. It's very entertaining. That's something the first game didn't actually have, was, like, really dynamic sound. Like, whenever something crazy was about to go down. Well, I guess the Fontaine fight was kind of like that, but... I didn't even get to play the music for the Fontaine fight. He's gone. James was the only man I ever loved, and... Now it's like he never even came to Rapture. He heard me sing at the limbo room. Came up all bashful. He liked hearing songs about what it's really like to live in this town. I think he's been trying to organize folks against Ryan. 
and now he's gone. And I'm here, singing rise, rapture, rise. Scared to death they're gonna come for me. I love Grace Holloway. It's one of my favorite characters in this game. She is awesome. Okay. Melt that. And that makes things angry. Outstanding, Sport. You're proven to be quite a windfall. Now just open the train tunnel from the security booth there, and I'll come out and jump on. Now, stuff's gonna happen when we go in there and we turn that on. Uh, I think a bunch of dudes are gonna come out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get ready for them, just because I know they're gonna be here. Pop some trap rivets down right there. A good few over here. Wow, that was a horrible shot on that one. Yeah, just a few like that. Just to help me a little bit. Not too much, but there we go. That's a good cover. Come in here. And throw the switch. I like to look a man in the eye when I give him my word. You and me, kid, we're going places. I'm glad he didn't set off those rivets. I had thought you some golem of Sinclair's, brought here to hold Rapture's arms while he rifles through her pockets. But no, you are aware of your plight. Who, I wonder, would be so cruel? to force a mirror on a man with no face. Lamb was waiting for us. Come out shooting and start the train. I'm shooting. I'm a shooting. Any more? You get. Oh dear. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> he didn't get a chance to throw his grenade. Oh, come on. Any more? I should have put all my rivets all over that door. Putting them all over here was a waste. I think I got maybe one person. That was it. At least I can collect them again. That's all that's important. I didn't get this trunk on the way in? Man, I was missing something. But here's where he's been staying this whole time. Andrew Ryan. He reckoned the free market was some kind of holy spirit gonna lead us all over the rainbow. And I reckon it's a big fat hooker too dim to spot a wooden nickel. So old Andy went and became his own ghost. And I whittled nickels till I made a mint. Freaking love Augusta Sinclair. Oh my god. Uh, Alright. Well, I think that's the end of Ryan Amusements. And this is where we're going to drop off for a bit. I'm going to do a last check, make sure I didn't miss anything inside of Ryan Amusements. And then we'll be heading off to the next level. Thank you all for joining me, of course. It has been fun. Uh, I think personally I do my better recording when it's like 12 o'clock in the morning <laughs> somehow. Maybe I'm too tired to really give a crap and I'm a lot more loosey-goosey, but them's the breaks. See you around, kid.